We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Georgia's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And off to the right. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. Loss of two by the halfback. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Not much there on that opening drive. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick throw out to the receiver. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good game for the offense. They'll bring him down right around the 40. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 40. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. to scramble, but he's sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Let's go! Green 95! Green 95! Tackle made at the 46-yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down at the 15-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. It's, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. Ready! Ready! Going right. Intercepted. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass. But it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From their own 15-yard line. First down. And 
they make the stop at about the 21. Number 40 on the tackle at the 21-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Makes it out to about the 30. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Ready! Check, check! Fox 2! Fox 2! Motion, motion, motion! Swings it out there incomplete. Number 31 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. It's the tailback. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Here's third and 11. Ball on the 29 yard line. throw to the tight end. He's taken down at about the 35. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. <laughs> Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's out of bounds at the 37. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. Steps out of bounds, the 39-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. That makes, that makes it second, it second and, and six. six. Second and six. Ball on their own 24. He's scrambling. They bring him down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at about the 31. We've played one quarter. No score here. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. He's at the 40, gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. 
from the 32 yard line. First down. He goes out of bounds around the 31 yard line. That's a deal. That makes it second and eight. He makes it to the 28-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Kentucky could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24. Tackle around the 22-yard line. fly the junior makes the catch to the 20 to the 10 and he's taken down at the five yard line a good look and pass that time well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver and he shows you that he not only could turn on the jets but he's got pretty decent hands as well first and goal from the four looking for pater Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over to the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 7-3. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Catches it and he's punished. That makes it second and six. Watch nine, watch nine. Stop your body. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Delta. Delta. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 40 yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So the sack makes this a second and long. 
They come out in a five wide set. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound again. to happen occasionally. I got you. I got you. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Let ho! Black! He lost the ball. Looks like the offense has it. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. down now and they need to get it out to midfield. He wants it all going long. Got him again. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woes. Complete, but out of bounds. Going to lose some ground. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That will bring up second and 11. Watch the throw, watch the throw, watch the throw. Six, he's easy, five. Ready, five, come on. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll make it third and nine. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's level at the 12. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. Number five makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. Georgia with a one-point lead. Red 18! He goes downtown. Missed him. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Got it, and brought down immediately. That makes it third and He steps out at the 46. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Yeah. 
He's hit and taken down. That'll make it second and four. He chucks it downfield. No, incomplete. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia is up one. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Bulldogs lead 7-6. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Fred and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. the stop at the 47 yard line. That's a game made on the play. Mike 55! Mike 55! Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Like a Delta! Twist Delta! They go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Call it a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Georgia, up a point. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That makes it second and 
from their own 20-yard line. Second down. And they hit him in the backfield. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. a beauty. Tackle at the 40. He showed a good burst there. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Taken down at midfield. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. He's at the 30, the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. the play by the defender. That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Nice run there. A gain of about four yards on the draw. He scrambles, and he is drilled at the 43-yard line. Wow, that is a big awesome hit on the quarterback. Away. That's one of those as an offensive that lineman. Fourth when the five. film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. 
They're set to go for another round. Georgia holds an eight-point advantage. And he hits him hard at the two-yard line. It's second down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. Here we go. Tackle at the four. Two-yard carry by the fullback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Taken down at the four-yard line. No That'll make it fourth and six. Not a good spot to have to punt from either. <laughs> Booming kick. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Now, who's in charge of this offense? These guys can't get a first down. They can't move the ball down the field. How do you expect to win the game? This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Loose football. Scoops it up. What was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Georgia is up by eight. They give to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 46. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and ten. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. That's three down and one to go. Georgia's up by eight. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Hey, defense. Hey, defense. Let's go. 40's Mike. 40's Mike. Let's go. Red. Let's go. Throws complete, big loss. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 30. Mike 52, Mike 52. And let's get this, get this. Nice run up the middle. Wants to go long and does. They'll bring him down around the 28 yard line. He's 
out of bounds at the 26 yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. Deep pass to the end zone. Incomplete. Almost picked off. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Check that, check that. We got Mike 52 right here. He's in trouble. Fires in a hurry. Interception. No, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. First and 10. Ball on the 21. Georgia up by eight. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Setting up play action. Fires that quickly to the tailback. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. It's first down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Let's go. Green, 19. Green, 19. Hot, hot. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Fox 2! Fox 2! And they got him. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He goes out of bounds at about the 45. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. carries the ball for a nice game. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. We're at play number nine of this current drive. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Hit and still completed it. Tackle made around the 37 yard line.
They'll call on the field goal unit. We have less than a minute to go. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Steps up. And this one falls incomplete. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Bulldogs come out on top. 17-6. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brandon saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.